voted option. Okay, so this is normal operation. So how does the attack work? So I'll show you an example where we really want to bike, say. So first what we do is find a combination of proposals that has not been voted before, right? A specific uh, combination and we compute that hash of chain. When we have this, we vote for uh, that hash and what this will do, as a contact doesn't have the association I, I told you about uh, in storage, uh, what it will do is it will record my vote, but it won't produce any approvals for the options, because the contract doesn't know what options these are. Uh, so this will produce some sort of ghost votes. So then we simply wait for other users to vote for the actual proposals that were in my original vote. Um, and once I have enough support for these options, uh, what I do is I actually vote for the option I really want to support. Right? And so what this will do, it, it will reduce the, the approvals for the other options, but as the approvals are not mine, because in my first vote there were no issue, no approvals issued, what we will do is reduce the approvals from other voters. And of course, it will increase uh, approvals for my newly chosen option. So with this, what I managed to do is to steal votes from other users. Okay? And the second consequence of this uh, issue is that, say, and now the yellowish uh, user wants to uh, withdraw their funds from the contract. So what we'll do is, this is the picture they have in mind, they say, okay, I can call the free function to free their maker, but the contract has a different picture in mind, right? It thinks that there's no approval, and uh, approvals for the option the, the yellow user voted for. So when it tries to reduce those approvals, it will fail to do so, and it will reward the whole transaction through logging the funds of the user. Okay, so there's two attack flavors. One is for free, if one can find a combination of feasible proposals, and with this I mean that proposals that will be eventually voted for, so this is uh, for free. Or uh, if I cannot do this, I can always create a new proposal, which is just an Ethereum address, and, and perform the attack at a cost. So we discussed this to the maker team, and they quickly issued a fix, and uh, help users migrate their funds, so everything is good now. Okay, so uh, I invite you to visit our blog where we have this and many other uh, vulnerabilities. And we recently uh, cracked Libra as well, and we have the audit reports for Compound and Insta. And we also have discussions in the forum, so please uh, join. Thanks.